do not fall into tryout trap. I'm gonna tell you all about it in a minute. But first, let's talk what I mean. I was going to bed yesterday and I thought about this quite a bit. What people do and how much money and time people spend to go and try out for the teams, for the good teams. Does this really help you out? Or does it even bring you down mentally? Because mental part of the game is the most important part when it comes to playing football. I am gonna tell you all about it shortly. Do not fall into tryout, academy or camp traps. Do not skip this video and watch to the end because I'm gonna be giving you very important information that how you might have a slight chance of making it a pro. And what you need to do to actually be a successful footballer and potentially have a chance to make it pro. We've all been there. I've been to tryouts. I've been to really great teams tryouts to make it to a certain level, but that doesn't help. I'm going to tell you simply why it doesn't help and it will make sense. This is something that you need to learn and you need to understand as early as possible in your football career. You're going to be wasting so much time. You're going to be wasting so much effort going to these tryouts, spending so much money, going to these academies because you need to be known when you're going to these tryouts, trying to prove something to these coaches, but you're gathered with all these players from a lot of different places a lot of different cultures, a lot of different playing styles and you're put in together in this group and try to play and try to show yourself. These players that you're playing with in those tryouts are completely different styles. You don't know what kind of a player they are. You don't know how well you're gonna get along when you're playing, when you're trying to show yourself. Because most of the time coaches are looking for maybe some individual talents but more importantly, coaches are actually looking for those talents where they can play in a team environment. And how are you going to show yourself if you don't know these players you're playing with? And if you don't know how to play simple with those players? My dad has coached the Turkish women's national team for eight years. I played at high level. I played with a lot of players that made it to high level and still playing at the high level. And that's why I'm telling you, I know because I talk with these people all the time, I talk with my dad all the time and I ask his opinion who makes it, who would make it pro. Suggestions and advices I get from my dad or my friends are completely different than what you hear on the internet. When I was playing in Turkey when I was younger, back in my day, probably about 20 years ago now, I used to go to tryouts. I used to go tryouts for really good teams. Tell me this, be honest with yourself, how many of those players that goes to tryouts actually make it not a lot if you don't have a name if you are not watched previously within your own team they are not gonna pick you no matter how good you are individually they are not gonna pick you yes maybe very rare occasions they're gonna pick a couple of players but that's it most of the time you're gonna be wasting your time you're gonna be wasting your energy and you're gonna be really bringing yourself down mentally first let's talk about what coaches look for coaches look for simplicity coaches look for how well you play in the team environment coaches look for your first touch some cases coaches watching these tryouts may be able to see what you're capable of what you can do with the ball but especially if you're going to a tryout for a very strong team's academy or very strong team in general you are in the tryout group probably with hundreds of people how are they gonna watch you individually to see what you're capable of almost impossible when i'm coaching i can almost certainly tell you this that i can't even focus on 25 to 30 people yet alone 100 people yes they might have few coaches watching the tryout but they will all have different ideas about what kind of a player they are looking for or what a person thinks a good player is because every coach is also different when it comes to picking the players for the teams before you go out to try out i'm gonna tell you why you should stop doing these tryouts and why you should focus on completely something different that will really help you achieve your dreams or you might not achieve your dreams obviously because a lot of players wants to be professional football players but you're gonna have much better chance to actually make it with my method the method i'm gonna be telling you is not about how you can train yourself or how you can do this specific drill it's nothing like that it's something completely simple 
but it will really help you out to improve your game knowledge as well as improve your mental state because the more you go to these tryouts and more you don't get selected and more money you spend you're veering out when i was playing back in turkey i played for a pretty good team we used to hold tryouts i can tell you about 99.9% .9 of those players who came to try out for the team i was playing for didn't make it but rarely if they know somebody within the club then they would make it and that's the difference you either know somebody holding that tryout from that club then you might have a chance because things get very political with these tryouts they are holding the tryout yes to see that one rare occasion the one rare player couldn't be discovered anywhere else but the club get lucky and they actually discovered that player yes that might happen but it's very rare i'm gonna tell you a secret to really help you achieve your dreams and to become a better player. Initially, you can go to these big teams and actually play for those teams. Your football career, you're gonna have different options, different opportunities. Some will be very upsetting opportunities. Some will be making you a very happy person. That's what we need to realize. First, I'm asking you, what do you think you need to do to become a better player? not practicing, not training, not individually training, or not spending so much money to these tryouts and fail. It will bring you down mentally. It will really, really hurt you mentally, and you don't want this. You wanna be as prepared as possible when it comes to being mentally prepared for the challenges that you're gonna be facing. Go on Google, go on Wikipedia, and look for players that made it to a certain level. Maybe now playing for Barcelona, Manchester City, doesn't matter. Just go on, find those players, young players, and look at their career. Look at the list of the teams that they play and look where they have started. If they're playing for Manchester City now, I would guarantee you 90% of those didn't start playing at Manchester City, didn't start playing at Barcelona. They started playing for bad teams. They started playing for really, really, really bad teams because they're gonna get minutes because they need minutes. And if you wanna become a good player, you need minutes. If you don't get minutes, especially when you are very young, you are not gonna be a good player. I guarantee you this. Instead of finding those clubs, might accept you. Maybe you're gonna make it. If you go there, is your dream to sit on a bench on a good team? Not really, you wanna play because you love playing. Every player, doesn't matter how bad or good you are, you want to play. There is only one way to gain that confidence that will help you become a pro is to have lots of confidence in yourself. If you're not playing, you're not gaining confidence. And it is as simple as that. If you wanna go to Europe and try to become a pro, or if you were in North America, if you're trying to be pro, you're not gonna become a pro player if you go to try out and if you get selected for those really good teams if you're sitting on the bench that doesn't make a difference for you you are not improving yourself you're not improving your game you're not improving your positional knowledge you're not improving anything you have to go to the teams that will play you and you're gonna gain experience gain confidence on the pitch playing 90 minute games and that's what's gonna help you. I'm not telling you you're a bad player. I'm not telling you that you don't stand a chance. Your chance of making pro going to tryouts is minimal. You probably stand 0.5%, maybe maximum 1% a chance. Doesn't matter how good you are, doesn't matter how bad you are. The teams will always prioritize those players that play somewhere and the coaches that watch those players that played somewhere. And that's what you need to focus on. Find that team that you can go and you can play 90 minute games. You can get some games under your belt and then we can talk and then we can chat. If you wanna make it pro, my suggestion to you, if you are looking for tryouts, do not go to tryouts for really good teams. Go to tryouts that you're gonna get lots of chance and you know you're gonna be selected for that team and you know you're gonna play for that team. Because many pro clubs will be looking for those players who played a lot of games, who have a lot of experience playing the games. So if you are not playing consistent 90 minute games in your own team right now, you don't stand a chance making to a team with the tryout. I can guarantee you this because the teams are not looking for footage anymore. The teams are not looking for how talented you are anymore. The teams are looking for those stats. And that's why 
you need to have one of those GPS trackers that actually measures how much you ran or how much distance you covered, how much you're fluctuating your speed or how fast are you. That's what teams are looking for. They don't have time to watch footage anymore because everybody wants to be a professional footballer. If you have opportunity, if you have chance, it won't hurt to record your games. A lot of people on the internet can tell you that, oh, if you train with me, I can make you pro. If you train with me, I can get you to try out. That's fine. I consider that is a trap. You're going to be paying money for these people and those people can only get you to try out. Cannot guarantee any outcome afterwards. So that's why, why waste your time and money, energy and your mental strength going to these tryouts and paying money for these people. Make sure you find a team where you go, you play 90 minute games. That's the only way that you're going to be a successful footballer and that's the only chance you have on becoming a pro. I hope you listen to me because I'm not here to make money from you. I'm not here to sell you anything. I'm telling you my honest opinion. I'm telling you because from the teams that I played for and the players I play with, I know who made it and who didn't. Because becoming a pro is a completely different stage. Playing a pro is easy, but making it there is the hardest part. I hope this video was helpful and I hope you're gonna pay attention to what I said because I'm telling you here my honest opinion on what you need to do to become a pro footballer.